Toast Now is a mobile app that allows you to manage your restaurant directly from your mobile device, with easy access to real-time reporting and key controls at your fingertips. In this video, we'll cover how to install and set up the Toast Now app, how to navigate the homepage, how to leverage the manager log as a message board to post updates to your team, and finally, how to toggle takeout and delivery and third-party ordering. The app can be downloaded on the App Store. Search the App Store on your iOS device for Toast Now and select Get to install the app. Once the app is installed, open the app to log in. When you first log in, you'll see this welcome carousel message. Select Log In at the bottom and enter your email and password. Use the same email and password you use to log in to ToastWeb. If you have access to multiple locations within a restaurant group, you can always change the location using this icon on the top of the app. Now that you've successfully logged in, you'll see the homepage overview, which includes many pieces of data for whichever date you select for your location. The date can be adjusted using this bar on the top. You can toggle between days using these arrows on the bar, and you can select this icon to go back to today. If you'd like to select a specific day on the calendar view, select this arrow. Swipe up to see a full screen view of the calendar and also to reveal the comparison toggle. This lets you select data between two dates such as today in comparison to last week or last year. When the comparison date is selected, any data shown on the homepage overview will show the current date's data as well as the comparison dates in gray, along with the percent change. Now let's go over all of the data that's shown on the homepage overview. The first report shows net sales. This arrow icon lets us know that we can tap this report to see more info. The net sales report will default to this hourly option, which will show an hourly breakdown for the date selected. We can change to yesterday's net sales quickly by selecting this icon on the date and time bar, and then go back to today by selecting this icon. If we use the comparison tool in this mode, we can see how the hourly sales for the selected date compares to hourly sales of the comparison date. The filters on the top allow you to drill down the net sales. You can select each individual category listed on the bottom to see a more detailed view of a specific sales category. The next report we'll look at is labor cost. Let's select this arrow to view the more detailed report. Just as the net sales shows an hourly breakdown, the labor cost report shows an hourly breakdown for the date selected. If we toggle on net sales, we can see an hourly comparison of net sales and labor cost. Below labor cost, you'll see cards for additional data for the date selected. You can view the amount of your staff that is clocked in and out in a given day, the amount of guests you've had, the amount of orders in that day, sales per labor hour, average spend per guest, and average order. If any of these cards have an arrow on the top right, you can click into the card to view more details. The last two tiles in this section will be your item sales and stock tiles. Item sales will be a list view of your top sellers for the date selected based on net sales. You'll also be able to see how many of each of these items were sold within the quantity column. The stock tile will list items that are currently 86th. If you'd like to mark any of these items as in stock, you can select them from this list and then select Mark As In on the bottom. The Manager Log is another section of the app 
that can be used as an internal message board for your team. So operators, GMs, managers, and other staff can post messages to one another about guests, shifts, maintenance, and more. As messages are added to the log, they'll appear in chronological order like this. You can select the arrow next to Manager Log to open the full view of the log where you can view all posts, add an entry, and reply to existing entries. When creating an entry, you'll need to assign a category such as accounting, callouts, late, guests, maintenance, etc. Once your entry is complete, select Submit in the top right corner. Lastly, you can use this section on the bottom of the app to toggle orders coming from takeout and delivery and third-party ordering channels. You can also see the quote times for each channel listed here. For more help with the Toast Now app, visit our knowledge base at central.toasttab.com.